good kung fu. Kung fu master. Yeah. Hello everyone. I'm not I'm not a kung fu master for sure. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your video on your smartphone with Filmora Go. So this is an application that uh, is available on both Android and iOS device, meaning you can edit on your Samsung modes and your iPhones. But I'm not recommended you to try it on my on your iPad because when I, I have two iPad in my rooms also when I tried with the the iPad the screen uh, the, the app does not fit the does not fit the screen so it's uh, it's make me difficult for to edit video on on the iPad so I think the same situation happen happened with the, the phones but the, this application is another great software of, uh, of Wondershare so together with uh, Filmora 9 so I'm currently using Filmora 9 on my de desktop to edit video and uh, uh, this Filmora Go include all the basic video editing feature uh, you can also uh, crop video, trim video, uh, add title, subtitle, overlay and even have the color grading um, tool in the in the app but the the only downside I don't like about this this application is that you can only export to uh, 720p so no full HD no full HD resolution uh, I don't know why because the, it's, it's about one years ago I tried this up uh, and now they still stick with HD but for those of you who publish on uh, social media uh, on Instagram or on Facebook uh, it's okay even on YouTube it's okay to, to stick with the HD because the quality is good okay that jump into the software so I will show you around the software so it's gonna be a, a long video so I, I will put the timestamp oh no forget it it's long video so uh, if you want to learn about Filmora Go just watch till the end of the video okay let's go okay so here's the starting screen of the application when you open it on the left side there's some stuff and also an access to your Filmora for desktop uh, just we close it so we're going to uh, create a new video with uh, the button on the the center so let's click on this plus button uh, now Filmora will scan all video photo and preset on your phones and also um, from your Facebook and Instagram and Google account if you log into to to that account. So in this uh, example, I just uh, make a slideshow with uh, only a short video at the at the beginning of the clip. So we uh, take go to camera, and uh, here we have uh, this is a clip. So at first you can trim your clip uh, whenever you are set to a video. Then a trimming tool here. So uh, one year. Uh, done with the uh, trimming you can click now uh, on uh, add this plus icon so it's the we add to your project so let's go back to um, photos okay so uh, i'm going to select some photo of me taking with my canon eos so i'm going to select my my picture and my wife and my friends only so i'm i will avoid uh, selecting my kid uh, picture because i'm going to have big issue with uh, youtube if i put my kids picture on the um, in my video because uh, the new regulation regulation of uh, youtube so okay so here's the main editing interface of Filmora go i think it's uh, intuitive because uh, on the right side you have all the important feature and at the bottom is a, your clip and you can review it on, on your screen uh, at the center so the first first thing is that uh, you can select a theme for your project for your video and we have uh, 80s and fashion and other stuff when you click on that it is load to your project and to preview it we mentioned that you can uh, change the title title of the video when you select this theme for example okay, this is the fashion theme so being noticed that uh, you can change the fashion uh, theme title to your title 
I'm, I'm not going to use the, uh, any theme, but uh, we are. We need to select a music for for my project. So let's go ahead. We can have preset. We can build in in Filmora Go, and download in your library. You can load uh, music on your uh, your phone, or you can download from their their store. But uh, one thing I noticed when using uh, the music inside Filmora Go that I got copyright strike. Okay, so I stopped my tutorial to, to talk a little bit about um, about music because the Filmora Go is another another application of Wondershare. So it's important that not use the built-in library because uh, we got copyright strike uh, or from YouTube all the time. I didn't use any any songs in uh, my Filmora uh, Filmora 9 uh, video editing software because I got copyright strike so I I only use on my you know, YouTube library is free and the same story happens with uh, with this uh, application I just published my uh, video editing workflow with just a piece of content a piece of music inside that and I got strike so be sure that you are not going to use any any music in this application to use uh, the music you have on your library when you upload it to YouTube if you save it your for your personal use it's okay, okay. let's go ahead with the tutorial so this song adventure over to I think it's this okay, but I'm not going to turn it on because I got copyright strike uh, when I add it to my video. So it's okay. We hit okay. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is the transition. So inside Filmora Go, there's 19 uh, different preset, transition preset you can add to your video. All you need to uh, hit it plus button and you can add the transition for uh, between your clip. And the cool thing is that you can select another transition and apply to all. So you don't need to, uh, to add your transition one by one. For example, in this case, I, I click this apply to all. Okay, so the, the next thing is uh, ratio. So on the left side of the screen, you see that you can uh, choose 16 by 9 or one, uh, 1 by 1 or Instagram uh, for Instagram or for social media or cinema. Uh, 20 by 9 but uh, now so with different uh, different aspect ratio you can uh, choose for your video if you upload going to upload to Instagram that you can choose uh, one by one and there's an option to cut size and blur but I have not tried so I I will stick with 16 by, by 9 because I'm going to upload this video on YouTube Okay, so next up we have the edit tools. So this is the most uh, important thing in Filmora Go. Uh, so currently I'm selecting an image. So we have the duration, crop, subtitle, PIP, voiceover, and, and so on. If we change it to a clip, uh, let me switch to the first clip. Okay, so now we have trim clip at the at the beginning and crop tool and subtitle and PIP. So the trim, trim clip is similar to what you use at the beginning when you import your video into the project. So you have you know, trimming tool at the end and at the beginning of the clips. So there's a button on the right of the screen. Uh, we allow you to reverse your clip, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it doesn't work with me. So just uh, go ahead with with other feature in this uh, program. I will try it out and later and then uh, I will let you know if you want to uh, have problem with this uh, with this feature uh, a few more ago, let me know in the comment section. So the next thing is cropping. So you can crop your video or your image. So I would go ahead to, to crop so you can just uh, use your finger and touch on the screen and adjust the position of the of the video to crop but the cropping tool here is a little bit different with what you use on your desktop because the here I record my video at 1080p so I can just move around uh, a little bit and this picture also I don't remember exactly the resolution of the image but uh, I think it's uh, 6000 by 4000 so it's, a, uh, it's very much bigger than the the resolution of the video so I can move it around so 
uh, after crop, cropping the video, we go to subtitle. It's similar to title tab in Filmora. So there's a couple of presets here, and you can tap the title at the on the screen and change the size and also select the color and some effect for your subtitle. So uh, let's say you can type. Uh, I can type my names on this screen and also Jackie Nguyen is the, my YouTube channel. So I'm going to use that. And I can change the fonts. So some some fonts here, but the minor toss. Okay, this one I, I think is good for me. And the color for the color, that's the simple color and Monty V and Monty H. I don't know. I don't know the meaning of this, but uh, let's strip uh, left to right to select a, a color, a cool color for my name. Orange. I like. I like orange. I think this is orange. It's okay. Uh, we we'll go ahead with this one and we can hit OK on the on the right to come back to the editing interface. So uh, we can also move this title around the screen. So for example, if I want, I want, I can move it on the screen and uh, resize it. And so I will put it at the bottom of the, the image. Okay, next is PIP. So the PIP is meaning picture in picture. So you can have to overlay another picture or video on your on your video. Here, a few more ago, we we give you we allow you to select another photo on your on your phones. Sorry, uh, also from your Facebook or Instagram account also. But I I didn't look in. And then you put the picture on your picture and then put it any anything on the screen. You can also resize and rotate it. It's it's similar and also add animation for that you can fade in slide and everything else so the voiceover okay it's to record your voice but I'm not going to use that and on the right on the right side I think this this feature many many people will love it especially for uh, for those of you who are women or girls because it's filter so it, there's a filter in your uh, in your video, so it's cool. So uh, there's so many future and a uh, filter in your, I mean, filter, filter, not future. Okay, so you can uh, add, add to your project and don't forget to to, uh, to adjust the intensity, the strength of the filter, otherwise, it looks terrible. So before, when I first uh, using um, Filmora Go, I just add the filter and I. I think it's, it's okay, but uh, it doesn't work for me. Okay, so, uh, as I mentioned in at the beginning of the video, there's overlay and uh, elements that you can add to your video with uh, Filmora Go. So that's uh, on the on the right side filter is overlays. So overlay meaning you can uh, have something uh, like your. Uh, flower or snow you add to your video or um, filming effect and uh, old film effect and bokeh and so so many things but uh, actually there are just about uh, 20 more than 20 uh, different overlay in uh, in this application and if you need more you can uh, click on more button on the right and you can buy more in Filmora Go directly from their library but uh, what I I don't like about this is the up in order to in order to let's say again in order to remove uh, just again okay so element is similar also some something you put on your video like flower star and so many things but uh, I think I, I don't think it's the important to, to have this guy uh, overlays an element and when you click more and uh, you see that there's some free and uh, some not free but uh, it's around four dollar four dollar three dollar it depends on the currency and you can buy also buy title pack and uh, so many things most and now we go to another preset is the title preset uh, this is not similar to subtitle so uh, this this is an animated title you tap on the title and you, you type, uh, I would say, Filmora Go, because uh, I'm, I'm making tutorial for that. Uh, on, 
it's appear on the screen and you can also move it around but it's the animated title so not similar to the, the subtitle subtitle you can yeah, change your, your fonts and size and so so other thing but okay let's say Filmora Go and go ahead to the next feature in Filmora Go it is rotate and you can rotate left rotate right and uh, flip high and flip v and so i think it's just kind of transforming your image and video it's cool so finally we have a color grading tool here in Filmora go so it called adjust but we can adjust the brightness uh, change the contrast saturation sharpness and temperatures inside our uh, inside this application so it's kind of uh, simple color writing tools in in Filmora Go, so I think it's, it's good because uh, if we shoot video with uh, our phone and uh, the weather or the uh, lighting condition is not good, we can change the contrast and uh, reduce the brightness of the video. So like this. So, but again, you know, we have a, a slider on the left, so we can increase it or reduce it, and. Uh, the next thing is the duplicate, but I, I don't think we need to duplicate anything and be sure that we have uh, we have the toolbar and we can hide or display it and finally we need to click save to save to finish our project and I'm going to do that and also I need to speed up this part because uh, it takes five, five minutes five minute or I don't remember exactly, but uh, I think it's 10 minutes to finish the saving the project. It means that it's, uh, it is rendering your project. Yeah, I think it's, it's rendering your project exporting because the, after that, we, we just have a, a preview button and save it to our, our phones and upload to YouTube or upload to Instagram or but I, I didn't log in so I just saved it to my phone so I fast forward this this part okay okay so here's the and the final output we can uh, preview but uh, I'm not sure what happened with my phones uh, maybe I'm using a, a screen recording software for on my phone so it doesn't uh, display the project the project didn't appear on my my screen and the next thing I can save it to my gallery it's fast because the, it already uh, render and there's an option to uh, log into your Instagram YouTube and WhatsApp and other social media to upload your video directly so okay so that's that is the end of my today tutorial about Filmora Go so if you like let me know if you want to ask anything about this application also ask me at the comment section below if you want to to try the video, uh, Filmora 9 a uh, better video editing software on your desktop check out the link in the description also so I hope you like the video uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new here and I will be back and see you in my next video bye for now don't forget to watch the result at the end of this video bye